Reach out to me and you to write a story on a shape the new. Javalia coffee and Totoro. I can't believe I can't believe I got all of that out of my mouth. Only two or three si sips in to coffee. That's more like it. I usually slur my speech this early in the morning, but it's already pretty hot out here. You'd think it was like I think it was 2 p.m. I just slathered on some of the Color Science Body Shield onto my arms and upper chest, in addition to the face the face sunscreens that I have on. Update on the Color Science Body Body Shield. I'm really enjoying it. It's very luxurious. It's it's like a nice uh, whipped body butter. As far as the tint, a lot of you, many of you, were asking me, does it stain clothing? And I haven't experienced that. And I put it through a little test this morning that I wanted to share with you all, because when I um, take it out of the bottle, I get a little bit on the outside of the bottle, and I end up wiping the bottle off with a, a white washcloth, and the white washcloth remains white. So I'll show you the washcloth. Yeah, so whenever I use it, I get I end up getting a little bit here on the cap. Like there's still some on my hand and when I screw the cap back on, I get uh, I get some on here and I just wipe it off with this washcloth. And I mean my washcloth has stayed perfectly white here. I'll take it over to take it over the window so maybe you can see a little bit better. But yeah, the washcloth is not stained at all. Um, I keep the washcloth has stayed white, so it shouldn't it shouldn't stain the clothing. But yeah, the washcloth has stayed perfectly white. It shouldn't stain the clothing. I find the one thing that really, I mean, obviously tinted sunscreens will stain a lot of clothing. I mean, they've got tint in them, so that can happen. But um, the one type of sunscreen that you really have to be cognizant of as far as staining your clothing and like your plastics and things is avabenzone. Avabenzone in iron rich waters will precipitate out and leave that white, that white precipitate. And I don't think you can get that out. I'm not sure. Um, but it has to do with uh, if, if it, it chelates iron. So if, if your water happens to have, uh, you know, iron in it, which, you know, most, a, a lot of water does, it will it will do that. Um, it'll get on like if you if you're out boating and stuff, it will get on a lot of the plastics and things in the boat as well. So I don't know how to get rid of that. You know, <laughs> I don't know how to undo that chemistry. <laughs> uh, but just be aware of that. Mineral sunscreens shouldn't do that. But mineral sunscreens that that are tinted can stain fabrics. I mean, they have. They have stain in them to to tint your skin, but the Color Science Mineral Shield, in using it, to me it doesn't it doesn't have a tint. What the tint that it has, um, the iron oxides in that really tint that it really kind of tries to camouflage some of the white sheen from from the zinc titanium dioxide. It's really not like. It's really not as though you you're you're wearing like a bronzer or anything. 
Um, so that's why I, I describe it as a quote universal tint because it's designed to just blend into your skin and highlight your natural skin tone, I believe. <laughs> uh, but comment below, those of you with darker skin tones, if you've used it. I know some of you mentioned that you've used similar products in the past that have claimed that and you've gotten you still get a, a white cast, so comment below on, on your experience with that. Um, but for me, you know, it blends into my skin pretty well, and I haven't I haven't noticed a white or tinted cast to it. Um, it just kind of just kind of imparts a luminosity. It's got a real it, it's got a nice shiny kind of kind of shiny moisturized hydrated look to it. That's very nice. I'm enjoying it. But anyways, oh, I finished what Alice forgot. Oh my gosh, that book, I don't know what it is. I just, I absolutely love it. I mean, I've loved every Leanne Moriarty book that I've, I've read. That one has to be my favorite. One of you sent me that, like, I wanna say back in October, and I can be really lazy when I own a book about procrastinating reading it. I feel as though I owe, I have some loyalty to the library. Cause you know, you put books on hold and you, I don't know, you, you kind of have this sense of like social responsibility to time, to, to read them in a timely manner and get them back to, to, to share them. But when you own the book, you can be a little bit more, more lazy with it. And so I haven't read it, uh, you know, since you sent it to me, however many months ago that was, I've had it like, oh, when I don't have a library book to read, I will read that. I, I inhaled that book. It was, it's so good. My mom, I gave it to my mom to, to read and I'm hoping that she inhales it quickly too because I really want to see the movie. I hope the movie is not a disappointment. I just, I mean, I don't know. If you, it just paints real life struggles that um, people go through in such a way. It's just, oh my God. <laughs> Without give, giving anything away, I just love the ending. I true the the ending is like it was wonderful. I really enjoyed that book. Thank you so much, whoever gave it to me. It made my week this past week in reading that book. I inhaled it. Um, but anyways, I I'm gonna go back inside because it's it's pretty steamy out here. <laughs> I'm gonna sweat off all my sunscreen, <laughs> even though it's water resistant. This is Texas. <laughs> is it flood resistant? <laughs> This woman, do you guys watch Anna Sacconi Jolie? I absolutely love her. But I get rather envious of her, of her uh, London uh, grocery hauls and uh, what, I, what I ate Wednesday. I always wanna eat the foods that she gets and then I can't because I don't live in the UK. And last night I was studying this Rude Health website. She consumes these, this sprouted porridge. Oh, I want this so bad, like, please come to the US, please. This looks so good. She eats, I think it is, a, I think she eats this sprouted, por sprouted porridge oats. They look so good. Look, they've got a banana berry one. It's this brand, Rude Health. They also have um, muesli, which looks really good. I've, here in the US, we don't eat muesli, really. It's, it's a European thing, and it always looks so good. Um, but they have a lot of ones, like this one here with the no flame and raisins, super fruity muesli. Oh my goodness, this just looks, this to me looks like a European holiday breakfast buffet. Like that's what I would imagine you get, all these, all these delicious mueslis. They have cereals. I mean, I'm not even a cereal eater, and this like dancing diva on here and her puffed spelt, Puff spelt, yes please. Honey spelt puffs, oh, it looks so good. What else do they have on here? Snacks. Those of you in um, in London, in the London area, please comment below if you've had this. Ginger and turmeric Odie, oh my God, that sounds so good. The Odie biscuits, oh, I want these. I want to, I want to try all of this. Um, where can you buy? I will tell you all who live, who live in the UK. Let's see where you can get it. But has anyone had this brand? You know, they don't know I exist or anything. I just got sucked into it watching Anna's uh, What I Ate Wednesday. You can get it at Sainsbury, Waitrose, Tesco, Asda, Acado. Oh, Acado always sounds so sophisticated when they say that. We got our shop from the Acado this week. And it's like, oh, I wanna shop at the Acado. <laughs> the Cooperative Food, Booths, Morrison's, Abel and Cole, Planet Organic. Uh, what is that? As natural intent as nature intended, Whole Foods in Holland and Barrett, as well as a range of independent health food stores. 
Look at this jolly oatmeal barista here, stockist of the month. Yeah, comment below. Have you guys had this? Is it, is it as good as it sounds and looks? If so, I need to know. I may have to take a trip there and acquire some. <laughs> they also have a cafe. Some one one of you viewers go and take take one for the uh, take one for the Dr. Dre uh, viewer viewership here, and, and take one for the team and report back if you go to the cafe or if you eat any of these foods. I, I want I want a book report. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sample menus. Oh my gosh, I need to go here. All right, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. Coveting, coveting thy, thy neighbor in, in London's food. <laughs> Eat right, stay brilliant. Oh, this looks so wonderful. Their food always looks so good in the Ciccone Jolies. Like, I'm guilty of wanting to copy everything that they do. bedraggled by the heat. It is quite hot out there. Well, hey guys, I just got here to my mom's and uh, she steamed up some, just steamed up some carrots and he knows they're ready. Up, up, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Finish the one you already got, finish the one you already got. Good boy, we'll put the other one over here on your placemat. <laughs> Tybee Bo, you're being a sweetheart. Yeah, we uh, stopped by the P.O. box, and speaking of my um, Anglophilia and, um, and envy, envy of Anna Saccone Jolie's uh, British grocery hauls, stopped by the P.O. box, and one of you sent me this beautiful card from, one of you all sent me this beautiful card from Devon. I believe that's in uh, Southwest England, um, right next to uh, Cornwall, maybe? Sounds right. But... Fun fact about Devon, for those of you, I know many of you live in New York. Have you ever been to Woodbury Commons, the outlet mall? Did you ever go to Woodbury Commons with me when, when you came? Yeah. I've been twice. It's kind of overwhelming. It's ma a massive, like, outlet mall. It's hit or no, miss. No, we didn't take that at all when I was there. Yeah, you can take we a bus to Woodbury Commons. Else, it's a fun thing to do um, sometimes if you're into outlet shopping. But Woodbury Common is actually in Devon. It's like a, um, I think it was a battle there once upon a time, but it's a um, heathland. They have a heather and sprawlingness. So, fun fact, but I love this card. Is it hot out there? Yes, and it's very, very humid. Yeah, it was quite hot when I went out early this morning to to start the vlog. It's like the uh, lens was boiling, it was uh, steaming up. <laughs>
we're having, I just made some refried beans. I'll share the recipe with you all in an upcoming video. It's just pinto beans and spas. Um, I used my mom's Instant Pot to make them and I let them set up in the fridge so they are thick and spreadable. <laughs> it looks like my mom steamed up some mushrooms and we've got organic romaine from Crohair. Crohair and uh, New York City. <laughs> Paste picante. Cucumber, radish, tomato, cilantro, lime. And my mom got these La Tortilla factory tortillas, corn tortillas to have. So uh, there we go. Looks delicious. Oh, we've got we got a little cheater guacamole here. We could have made our own, but my mom buys these at Costco. They're really good um, and convenient. I'm just admiring this necklace. You all may wonder where I got it from. It's not for, it's not to be found. You wanna tell them about this necklace I'm wearing that I am, well, I've, I, I have taken that, off of your hands. Probably in 1976 ish. Uh -huh. um, in the mall at, uh, in Albuquerque. Okay. Coronado Mall, I think it's still there. The Coronado Mall in Albuquerque. But it was in this cute little shop where they had all kinds of gold jewelry. All right. Um, these chains were popular then. They're not now. I know. But it looks really pretty on you. Yeah, it matches my earrings, which also were a gift from. Yeah, let me see how close. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Those are really they match. <laughs> yes. Coronado. I have uh, some viewers have commented they live in, in Albuquerque in New Mexico. I think I've gotten cards from people. Here's my Ooh, move over, taco uh, lunch. Move over, Torchies. How does that look? Much better than uh, anything you'd buy and get in a restaurant. That's for sure. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna assemble my <laughs> and I made myself a I made myself a taco salad with romaine that I'm gonna pick up with my hands and the beans, the mushrooms. I tasted one of the mushrooms. They taste like the consistency of meat. So they're nice and good, you know, they're nice and chewy. You did a good job. How'd you cook the mushroom? I just sauteed them. I'm um, water? Nothing. A little bit of water, yeah. No oil? No oil, no salt, no garlic, nothing. Just mushrooms. Just mushrooms. Yeah, refried beans. Cucumber, cilantro, tomatoes, radish, some lime squeegeed all over everything. I'm excited. This looks good. Thanks for making us these beans. It's a combined effort. It really is good. It came out good? Yes. You're definitely going to want to stay classy for this. Don't eat, don't eat with your hands without a bib. <laughs> no, I'm really enjoying this. This is good. How are the, those tortillas you got? They're nice. Um, they're a combination of corn and flour. I like corn tortillas. I really like blue corn tortillas. They're harder to find, but I think they're a little more unique and classy. You know, Mexican I like to be classy. Thing. Yeah. This is good. I mean, the beans are delicious. Okay, so just spoon some of the beans. Uh, fancy dessert you've got whipped up I here. I juiced this up in the blender um, with eight ounces of almond milk. This is and raw beauty, raw beauty green superfoods powder, mint chocolate chip infusion. Oh, I've had this before. It's really good. You just mixed it with with just almond milk, and then I threw ice cubes in mm -hmm. and it turned it into kind of a granita type Ooh. thing. Yeah, it, it tastes like mint chocolate chip. And we're having strawberries. Mm, some strawberries. And then, <laughs> I really want you to take this back home with you. <laughs> okay. Because if it stays here, it will disappear. <laughs> you like it, huh? Uh, look at the size. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. It's not exactly a dainty wedge I'm having. That's okay. That looks, that looks like something you would get in a, in a restaurant. 
I'm having one of my uh, mushroom hot cacaos here from Four Sigmatics. I just have it there in Totoro. I love these. They have a, a spicy hot pepper one. If you like Mexican hot chocolate, I, I recommend it. It's really good, but anyways. It's like a mint chocolate frog, granita frog. Cool. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Especially when it's so hot out today. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Sunscreen and subscribe. Bye, everybody. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.